Hello to everyone, I am Masoud Khazari and this is session 2 of improving hydrophilicity of nanoparticles by Sol Gel method. In this session 1, I talked about surfactant assisted method and today I'm going to explain microwave radiation assisted method. What is microwave radiation assisted sol gel method? After gel formation, the obtained opaque solution was heat treated for 30 minutes using a microwave oven to produce a homogeneous gel. And after drying and calcination, we have TiO2 microwave nanoparticles. The average size of nanoparticles was 50 plus or minus 7 and this picture shows SEM analysis of TiO2 microwave nanoparticles. Mechanism The proposed mechanism for hydrophilicity of TiO2 nanoparticles by microwave radiation is based on photo generated electron hole caused by the microwave radiation the microwave radiation creates structural changes in tio2 by transformation of ti to the power 4 plus sites to ti to the power 3 plus size and this picture shows how can microwave radiation produce oxygen vacancies on the surface of nanoparticles? TiO2 versus TiO2 microwave. To examine the effects of microwave radiation, specifically on the properties of final product, the nanoparticles were synthesized in the same conditions and steps. Two methods were applied to compare hydrophilicity of these nanoparticles. First, exposing the nanoparticles to humidity and second, coating similar surfaces with these nanoparticles and measuring contact angle. First, exposing the nanoparticles to humidity. As I explained in the session one, when the nanoparticles are exposed to humidity, OH groups are generated on the surface of nanoparticles and you can estimate the amount of these OH groups by FTIR analysis. This picture shows FTIR spectrum of A, TiO2 and B, TiO2 microwave nanoparticles after exposing to 95% relative humidity. In this graph, a stronger OH peaks means the nanoparticle has adsorbed more H2 molecules on its surface and consequently the nanoparticles is more hydrophilic. So, according to this picture, TiO2 microwave nanoparticles is more hydrophilic than TiO2. Second, surface wettability measurement. Coating to similar surfaces with nanoparticles by aging in nanofluids for two days. The surface was totally super hydrophobic before coating and measuring the contact angle of normal heptane as oil and water droplet on the surfaces. This picture shows our contact angle measuring setup. Nanofluids were prepared in three different concentrations for both of nanoparticles. Two different types of contact angles by injection normal heptane droplet in water environment and water droplet injection in normal heptane environment were measured. As you know, 
higher normal hectane contact angle and lower water contact angle means the surface is more hydrophilic so according to these values TiO2 microwave nanoparticles could change the wettability of surfaces more than TiO2 so TiO2 microwave nanoparticles is more hydrophilic than TiO2 thanks for watching this video subscribe us for more videos about nanotechnology and nanoscience and put your comments and help us to modify the videos bye bye